Here's one you may not have seen before. These are called consoles. We have an order console. I'm gonna look at the pop console today. So the idea behind a console is to give you a lot of power as one person to wear a lot of hats and get a lot of work done. Let's see how it works. Select pop console. And again, we have, I'll go ahead and click this minimize, hide that, get a little more real estate on the screen. And in this case, I have all my pop orders and you can see the different statuses. It's easy to look for something unreleased, something released. Imagine I go after an unreleased order and come in here and I'm gonna go after this particular item. It's an unreleased order, which means I can still change it. If I come up here, you'll notice that the toolbar has, and the ribbon bar has a lot of options. I can edit this order using the Macaulay user interface right here. So maybe I wanna change this order. Uh, I just gotta notice that it's gonna be late. I have to update that order, so I just did. Come back here, you'll see, here's the order, here's the due date. If I refresh the screen, you see it change. So you have to manually update the screen. You can hit F5 or you can use this little circle up here to uh, refresh the screen. Not only can you edit an order, but you can also add an order here, brand new order. So maybe you wanna group your orders here by due date. Uh, you can come in here and group them by date, make changes, you know, what are you gonna run? What are you gonna have to move out, etc. And once I have an order here, uh, I can release the order. So order 380, I'll just release that order. So if I look at released orders now, there's 380. If I wanna unrelease the order, come in here through the user interface again, 380, and you have to double click, click OK, and I just reset that one back to an unreleased order. So again, unreleased, refresh the screen, there's 380. So it's a pretty powerful way to stay in one place and get a lot of work done. Let's look at a released order. Maybe I want to take a particular order and I want to come in here to this particular order and I'll go ahead and print a work order for it, a material pick list. So these are the components that you need to go get. And you can say yes if you want. And it'll move it to a status so we know that it's printed and we can see it on the scan gun if you're using the WMS. There's other things you can do. You can add components. You can do production right here. I mean, why not just sit here? If you got a whole list of things the guys did for the day, process it right here. You can issue material, things like that, print labels. You can actually review the order if you wanna look at it. So it's really everything that you wanna go after from one simple user interface. And we blended together Macola technology into our grid so we don't have to recreate the wheel. We can just use something useful. There's over 158 components that you can drop in the screen here. Uh, these are just buttons. You know, If you wanna put an order status button in here for OE, you can certainly do that. So this is a very powerful component called a console item.